uh, but third ray is really really rare and most soldiers i guess use it to sh sh shot him it's uh, this very rare uh, motif and very rare uh, stance hello everybody this is war story video vlog i'm alex and here we are in my studio in the united states and here we can see a full collection of uh, steins that i bought few uh, weeks ago all this collection I have to send to Europe and uh, all this collection have to leave uh, these studios and now I would like to show you all these motifs I will not explain too much about all this stuff but I would like to show it you uh, closely first of all I will tell you about these steins who ordered it and um, why so many um, motifs we can see here. All these steins has been ordered by officers, soldiers and Unter officers uh, during the, uh, d their duty and uh, some of them during the World War II. And we can see on the market two types of steins. For me it's two types. Uh, first type is Imperial and second time in, is uh, Third Reich and uh, between war period, Weimar period. Third Reich steins are more rare and uh, we can see a lot of them on the markets. Sometimes we can see a huge collection of Imperial steins uh, on the market or military antique shows. Uh, but Third Reich is really, really rare and only a few of them I saw uh, on SOS. And uh, this collection is really nice because uh, most of um, steins I saw in SOS already I have here uh, on this display and a lot of steins on the market have uh, repairs and restorations so it's very important also to see all this stuff and when collectors ask me by email or when they call me and ask uh, find something for them I have to expertise all stuff went through my hands uh, you know what I mean and this collection also before I send it I will see uh double check all steins we can see on this display and i will show you it uh closely on the top we can see nice series it's quite similar we can see with uh red stripes here on the bottom and um creeks flux we can see on the top of the motif some of them is really nice and rare for example this uh, motorcycle motorcycle guy with BMW and oh, look at that and this one is uh, Kraftfahr Abteilung number no. 7 and uh, Weihnachten 1938 it means um, Christmas 1938 and um, political flag and uh, battle flag we can see here and also BMW motorcycle and fully equipped um, rider on this motorcycle. Uh, two artillery uh, items. One is um, Panzerabwehrabteilung uh, number 10 and Panzerabwehrabteilung is um, small guns, anti-tank, you know. Uh, and uh, we can see anti-tank cannon pack 36 uh, on this motif and two artillery. Uh, three or three guys and um, this one here is also artillery mug artillery stein uh, from 7th artillery regiment and um, München 1937 1938 right before uh, second world war and we can see big uh, cannon probably it is uh, 100 millimeter around that uh, and this one is interesting also this is a right regiment right regiment it's like cavalry uh, but early cavalry because uh, right before war um, all writers regiments was uh, renamed to cavalry regiments and then uh, to tank regiments most of uh, cavalry regiment has been uh, reduced to tank to tank troops so this one is Weihnachten 1935 it's uh, Christmas 1935 and uh, one more Weihnachten um, 
Stein, this 1934 um, with MG and we can see machine gear company and uh, uh, company number four and company number eight was uh, MG machine gear in uh, in regiments. Uh, here on the top we can see big uh, SA uh, glass, but these glasses are <laughs> interesting also. And look at the display. I will show you pictures closely of every Stein. Here we can see really nice display also. This one is uh, anti-aircraft, it's flag. Uh, and we can see Romanian motif with um, thunders, yeah. Uh, and uh, he look on the top and uh, it means he want to hit somebody uh, who fly over. Uh, so, and we can see Unteroffizier's Corps um, flag regiment number uh, 24 and um, exactly same, exactly the same uh, style, the same motif we can see here on this um, on this book. Oh, and some of them we can see exactly the same, like in this collection. But this one, this one number. Uh, 205 with exactly the same motif but with um, another um, sign with another name so it's not not that one uh, in the book and uh, in my plan I would like to uh, make like a catalog of this collection because I think it's very interesting to um, take pictures and uh, to share all these pictures with you um, with my subscribers with viewers and uh, probably you can see some items you have uh, for to add it to book like that and uh, probably i will publish it because uh, now we are working with uh, all these bayonets i showed you before and uh, we measure it before uh, before sending we have to measure it and we have to check weight for example this one this is um icon carl icon and look at that um 344 grams it's like in leaps 12.1 and in grams this one and with this cupboard it almost uh, half kilo but um, we are uh, checking we check all uh, weight of all items some of them with uh, with leather frogs i know that it's not uh, not correct to check weight with frog but uh, if we check it uh, without scabbard we can see uh, what weight of uh, every bayonet so i think it's uh, important information also uh, for uh, engraved bayonets we will use all this information i think it will be interesting uh, and some more items i have here i will send it to europe also to europe union and uh, uh, this is chained SS dagger, chained SS dagger with a number uh, on the top cross guard, and uh, I have paperwork with uh, about this uh, number. Uh, all this stuff will be with me in the United States. I I sold one. Uh, one um, collector asked me uh, to show him all this stuff, so I took pictures and I just sold one. But uh, I really nice. 
I really enjoy all this uh, display. I would like to keep some of uh, items with me. And all this stuff will go to Europe Union also, to collectors. And uh, uh, we can see here three uh, Luftwaffe first model. And uh, it's all three different uh, styles with uh, classic aluminum. Uh, aluminum. Uh, this one is um, like vein aluminum and uh, brass brass uh, swastikas and this one is uh, nickel silver with uh, early type of uh, chain uh, also we can see here uh, deluxe uh, forestry uh, dagger probably if we'll uh, go to Europe uh, next week but I would like to take video about this one about this MG also, I will uh, take video with uh, that helmet, but not now. So, about collection, all this stuff, uh, it goes, I did a lot of work with it. And I will uh, take pictures of all these uh, styles. We will uh, check weight of them and then we will publish it uh, in internet. But probably we will publish it in um, book also but next one on the display is pioneer regiment so it's pioneer regiment number 10 um regensburg and uh, we can see pioneer motif it's quite rare and uh, really expensive and here we can see four uh givers jäger that means um mountain troops and the uh, givers jäger regiment number 100 100 100 also and this one is 99 and both regiments has been involved in Crete landing operation. Uh, some rare styles we can see here. This one, um, I have to find more information about this one because uh, it's like old style with a um, horse on the lead. And uh, we can see, we can see this um, interesting motifs. I want to find more information about this one. It's interesting. I've i uh, never seen before um, styles like that. And uh, this pretty classic um, three pieces. This one is uh, Hitler for to show loyalty to, um, to the leader of uh, country that time. And um, it's very important document and uh, quite rare to find it because uh, most soldiers, I guess, um, use it to sh shot him uh, when they find all these uh, steins and uh, only a few of them we can see on the market so it's really rare and um, those two steins are uh, Unteroffizier Corps um, Stab Aufklarungsabteilung I guess number five and um, this one is September uh, 30th 1936 so it's really uh, early one and this one is uh, Kreuzer, Admiral Hipper and uh, Kriegsweihnachten, uh, 1940. And you can see Admiral Hipper on uh, a lot of footage uh, pictures, but uh, here we can see original item of um, somebody who was crew on this uh, battleship. Here we can see uh, more interesting uh, steins uh, too. Mm, Steins with um, artillery motif, and this one is heavy artillery, and this one uh, is uh, like a field artillery anti tank. And um, this one, cavalry regiment. Cavalry regiment, sometimes it's uh, it was a tank regiment, so we can see tanks also here, and we can see anti tank gun also. Uh, Coburg Stein, I saw it in a book. Exactly the same, and uh, three, three steins, and we can see that special uh, stamp on the bottom, uh, maker mark. Sorry, and um, they very similar, but uh, this very rare uh, motif and very rare uh, steins, and uh, we can see on the market a lot of them. So that's very interesting. And this one, uh, Panzer Abwehrabteilung, it's um, anti-tank also. And uh, that's very interesting uh, too. And more information we can see on Elite. Because uh, Wehrmacht Eagle here, um, I guess it's um, etched, but that's very interesting. <laughs> uh, two uh, similar motif uh, of uh, the 
uh, stands we can see here, but uh, different leads. Here we can see helmet and here we can see uh, machine gunner troops and uh, that's very interesting. Um, you can't find uh, a lot of leads with uh, motif like that. Uh, sometimes it's uh, plain or just with Wehrmacht Eagle or Wehrmacht um, Stahlhelm. So this is very interesting uh, Stein also. Uh, this one, Infantry Regiment number 74, Rattenfargenstadt Hamel. Uh, we can see here uh, this very uh, important for um, fairy tales uh, motif, um, that guy who played for Reds and uh, keep away all Reds from uh, this uh, town. So that's very interesting. And with a helmet on the top. And lower, here we can see First Sun Company, it's a medical, medical company number one, um, 179 regiment. And uh, here there is a one more Hitler and um, he survived only because um, American veteran just kept this uh, stein for to make a prost in the Memorial Day or May 8th. Uh, so that's very interesting that um, this stein has not been uh, has not been uh, broken during the war or after the war. Um, this one is infantry regiment 35, and we can see the shoulder boards and unter officer course uh, core did it with a plain blade, uh, plain um, sorry lead, and more is a. Um, Steins we can see here with uh, really interesting motif. One more Hitler here and uh, more SA members. And in my opinion, this stuff is very interesting because we can't find uh, a lot of them uh, on the market. So it's really rare uh, stuff with Hitler, with um, SA members, with SA uh, symbols and stuff like that. And uh, this glass, look at that. Uh, he's really huge and uh, really nice, and it's big, um, big glass, you know, it's really heavy. Uh, so when I saw it in pictures, it's not, uh, it doesn't look so nice how it is uh, in, uh, in a hand, you know, when, when you touch it. Uh, we can see here also um, big impressive eagle, so it's like a real war souvenir from uh, Second World War and American veteran uh, brought it back to to the United States and now it stay in collection and sometimes American veterans um, in the Christmas or Memorial Day just uh, make a prost from their uh, own uh, items they brought home uh, and it's like a symbol that's a trophy uh, that's a no like nothing about agitation and uh, more items I forgot to show you here. Uh, this is a double one. Uh, we have two in this collection. Um, Steins like that. Lafrog, very nice uh, <laughs> whiskey uh, for me. And um, two Deutsche Erwache um, Steins. Uh, we can see this one uh, with uh, SA um, standard and uh, this one very plain but impressive motif. Uh, I have to find more information about this one, about this one, and about this one also. Um, but it's very interesting. And uh, not all items was perfect because, for example, here uh, we can see here we can see um, the repair on the lid. Uh, you can see that uh, lid has been changed. Uh, we can see difference and we can see mechanical uh, heat, you know, like there, like here. So it's very important to see um, on this uh, place for to make sure that uh, lid has not been replaced. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I told it correctly. Um, and two more doubles in this collection uh, we can see but uh, different signs on the top uh, 1933 and 1933 1934 so it's uh, different years but it's very interesting also 
and the um, last two steins uh, was with the SA symbols and you can see SA symbol here and this one very interesting you can uh, drink and play for a money <laughs> with your friends yeah? during you hang out and be brewery or something like that uh, so it's really nice with uh, this stuff it's really good idea to place uh, this stuff in uh, in the lead you know uh, and um, 1933 it's also really collectibles items from uh, that period we are interested in so this was a really nice collection and uh, now I guess we can finish. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, uh, please leave a comment under this video and um, let me know about it because <laughs> it's very interesting uh, anytime. And um, I will leave my contacts because um, a lot of people ask me how to contact with me, how to uh, send me a message or a call and I will uh, leave it in comment and pin it under this uh, video. Thanks again for watching with this video until the end to press like and subscribe because it's uh, helped me to promote uh, this YouTube channel. Uh, it's very important for me. It helped me to find more interesting information for you. Thank you again for your interest and see you real soon.